Hey loves, welcome back. So today's video is another skincare video. I am skincare obsessed. A few weeks ago, I uploaded my evening skincare routine because I've had a few questions about microneedling. If you've not seen that video, I'll link it in the description, but off of the back of it, I had a whole bunch of questions and I had a lot of requests to share my daytime skincare routine. So that's exactly what we're gonna be doing today. Side note, as always, I am not a skincare expert. I'm not an esthetician. I'm not a makeup artist, I'm not any of those things. I'm just a busy working mum of two that is obsessed with all things beauty related. And I particularly enjoy investing time, effort, money um, into good quality skincare and getting really great results. I've always pretty much followed a good skincare routine, even as a late teen, my mum helped me and encouraged me. And I remember starting off, I'm going off on one, but I remember starting off with the clinic three step many many moons ago and i'm turning 41 in a few weeks and skincare has never been as important to me as it is now i've really upped my skincare game especially i'd say over the last two or three years i've spent time researching ingredients and gadgets and gizmos and what works at what time of day the best so this is what i'm really really enjoying right now i've got some old school products that i've used for a really long time i've got some new things that i've only just introduced that i'm excited about but i thought i'd just go through with you what i would do on an average morning step by step before i crack on if you enjoy this don't forget to hit the thumbs up button and to subscribe it means the world to me anyway let's discuss my morning skincare routine First things first is that I wash my hands because I very rarely get up and go straight to the bathroom and do my skincare routine. I normally get up, go downstairs, let the dogs out, do the kids breakfast, do all of the things. So I always make sure that I wash my hands before I touch my face. Simple thing, but it can make a big difference. I'm gonna talk about a lot of beauty bio products. You would have heard me mention these a million times. It's definitely one of my favorite skincare brands it's something I discovered a couple of years ago they come with a higher price tag but for good reason and I really love their kind of their brand their philosophy the science that goes into their products I feel like they're well researched well thought through and most importantly I am seeing really 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 great results so I start off with their gel cleanser it's called the balance it's a pH balancing cleanser I don't need to do a massive massive cleanse because my skin is relatively still clean from the night before this gently cleanses my skin without stripping it and drying it doesn't make my face tight or uncomfortable i really really love it it smells wonderful almost slightly kind of medicinal and i always use it with a silicon kind of thing one of these things and the reason is is that i find that i use so much less product and i'm all about value for money i would probably use about half the amount when I use this guy. I love that it's got all these kind of nobbles on it so I, I feel like I get a really good gentle clean. I'd say then one to two times a week I then go in and exfoliate. I have a whole bunch of exfoliators that I use. I don't like anything that's too aggressive. You know we have to be really gentle with our skin. So chemical exfoliators are pretty good you know they're going to exfoliate without being too abrasive i've been using this one from the body shop it's the body shop drops of light pure resurfacing liquid peel basically you put two pumps on you rub it all over dry skin and after a while it starts to kind of ball up and um you get this kind of like bally bits of product and dead skin it's not my most favorite exfoliator in the whole entire world but I've been using it, enjoying it. It does a really good job. And then after I've exfoliated, not always on the same day, but one to two times a week, sometimes more, if I've got time and depending on how I'm feeling and how my skin is looking, I'll then go in with a mask. And I'm a big multitasker, so I'll put it on and I'll go and do other things. You know, I'll put it on, make the bed, brush my teeth, pull out the clothes for the day, get some washing together. Like I don't sort of sit and lay down with cucumber slices on my eyes nobody's got time for that i've really really been enjoying this pink perfect australian pink clay mask by alia i don't know how to pronounce the brand skin i tested this with my daughter it blew us both away actually i'll link the video in the description if you've not seen it this was sent to me so i was a bit skeptical i've used this maybe eight ten times same for ellie we use it all of the time and there's still more than half a tub in there so it's like I think it's about £30 but it's such incredible value because you get so many applications from it so I really really enjoy that like I said I don't mask and exfoliate every single morning you know one to two times a week 
Next is a vitamin C serum. I've been using the Daily Bar Beauty Bar probably for about 18 months and I absolutely love it. It's a super lightweight, clear vitamin powerhouse of a serum. I put one to two pumps all over my face and neck. It absorbs super quick and doesn't leave my skin feeling sticky or tacky, which a lot of vitamin C serums do. When you're shopping for a vitamin C serum, there are so many available. The most kind of clinically proven form of vitamin C that works and is proven to work on your skin is L-exorbic acid, if I could say it. And I have just ordered a vitamin C serum from a brand called Timeless because I'm gonna try that. But I've been using the daily. It's got a different form of vitamin C, but I really believe in their kind of, like I said, their science and what they put into their products. This has got magnesium absorbable phosphate and it's a stable form of vitamin C. Vitamin C kind of goes off when it's in the air. So, oh, that looks pretty. This is in an airless pump so that no daylight can get to it. Vitamin C helps against UV damage. It helps against hyperpigmentation. It helps to kind of slow down the formation of fine lines and wrinkles. It's a real magic, magic ingredient. So if you haven't kind of introduce a vitamin c serum into your skincare routine have a look like i said the one from the brand timeless um is 20% uh, l-exorbic acid i believe and it's so reasonably priced and compared to a lot of super super expensive vitamin c serums they contain the exact same this has also got some other yummy things in it to kind of balance the skin balance the ph help against breakouts help to kind of just even everything out and i really really enjoy this the next thing is uh, something i've only been using for a couple of weeks and it's from the brand timeless that i just mentioned timeless is an american brand i believe but you can get it in the uk the shipping was pretty quick and they're really, really affordable products with incredible high concentrations of special ingredients. This is the Coenzyme Q10 Serum. The Coenzyme Q10 is in a lot of skincare products and it's been around a really long time. It's questionable. Some people think it's a miracle cure. Other people believe it doesn't actually work and it has to be something that you take internally. But either way, I've seen some really great results and this was relatively inexpensive in terms of good quality skincare so i thought i would give it a go coenzyme q10 is an antioxidant that's said to kind of help with collagen and elastin so it's going to kind of give you fresh tight plump hopefully <laughs> i'm praying skin this has two percent coenzyme q10 um which is a really high percentage and the kind of percentage that you need in skincare to see any kind of results this also has hyaluronic acid i'm sure you've heard of that before that is a wonder molecule that holds a thousand times its own weight in water so it really hydrates and plumps the skin so i love that that was in this too so i don't need a separate hyaluronic acid serum and this also contains matrixyl 3000 I sound a bit like a scientist and i matrixyl 3000 is another one of those controversial ingredients that some people believe is amazing and some people question but i'm willing to give it a go basically a really strong potent anti-wrinkle ingredient hallelujah and it's supposed to help collagen synthesis up to like 350 percent anyway all of those three things are in here put one to two pumps of this over my face i press it and pat it onto my skin rather than rub it so you know it makes me feel like i'm pushing the ingredients further into my skin which i'm probably not so i go all over my face with this like i said i've only been using this a couple of weeks so i haven't seen any drastic results yet but i will let you know i'll update you in the future the near future if i feel like this is a must-have or if i decide not to repurchase it because i'm not seeing any difference for me anything's worth a go right give it a go slap it on your face now i know you're already going oh my god how many products could she possibly put on her face the answer is a lot i enjoy skincare obviously um so my kind of routines my evening and morning routines are a little ritual for me that little five minutes of time where i just feel like i'm really looking after myself so when you see me in like two years time i'll probably have a 45 step routine and i'll be in my element then I go in with the moisturiser. I've been using the Ultimate from Beauty Buy for quite a while. I think this is maybe like my fourth tub of it. It's a vitamin C base moisturiser. Love me some vitamin C. It's super hydrating, but it doesn't leave me oily or greasy and doesn't make me break out. It's hydrating and nourishing without being heavy, um, which I really like. It's an airtight container and it's got this amazing kind of pump 
at the top so you get the perfect portion without your grubby fingers getting into the jar and without any air and anything getting in and ruining and kind of spoiling the ingredients i really really enjoy this it feels amazing when you're doing your skincare routines in the morning and in the evening your face doesn't stop you know at your chin don't forget your neck and if you can like your decollete is that what it's called because our necks take a lot of abuse mine is always wrinkled up when i'm looking into my phone or my gadget so make sure you cleanse your neck you moisturize your neck you do all of the things you do to your face to your neck as well then i use an eye cream i don't use my face moisturizers underneath my eye because the skin under our eyes is very very different from the rest of our face it's much much thinner it's like the thinnest skin on our whole entire body i believe i feel like it's really important that you use an, a product formulated um, and designed for the eye area at the moment i'm using the elemis pro collagen eye revive mask i really like this because it's super hydrating and refreshing it's a really really light gel formulation it takes a little while to sink in like a couple of minutes but it hydrates it moisturizes you can use this as an eye cream or you can use this as an eye mask as well i really enjoy it now the next two things i'm going to talk about are gadgets and gizmos i don't use these every single day i suffer from hay fever I used to suffer really bad and sometimes still now i wake up with really puffy eyes i think i've rubbed them in my sleep also, if I have too much alcohol, too much salt, my face can be a bit puffy, my eye area especially. So I keep a rose quartz roller in the fridge. And if I wake up and I've got super puffy eyes, I go and grab it. I do my skincare routine and then I use the smaller head and I kind of use it to massage and de-puff around my eyes. Rose quartz rollers are kind of one of those in things. They've been around for like five million years. I'm sure the dinosaurs invented them or something. I've seen so many girls that just get them and rub it all and roller it all over their face and that's fine. It feels really, really nice. But there is some techniques that you can use with this for lymphatic drainage. And that's one of the things I'm gonna try and learn. I'm trying to learn at the moment, you know, how to use this properly and effectively so that not only does it feel nice that I'm getting results and kind of depuffing and draining results around my face but when it's in the fridge it goes really cold quick side note I went for the rose quartz over the jade rollers because jade is super popular but jade is a porous stone so if you're rolling over serums creams or whatever then the your jade roller is going to actually just drink up all your products and rose quartz isn't and it stays pretty cool so you can kind of roll this over your face to puff it help pushing the products apparently the next gadget i use i've had for a couple of years this is by nurse jamie i bought this because i kept seeing so many people use it the kardashians Charlie, jessica alba jenna duan so many women and men were raving and talking about this this is like a facial roller they're like tourmaline little stones it rotates um mine broke because I have a small child and he obviously thought it was like Harry Potter's wand or something. So yeah, there's that. And I'm missing a stone again. But basically I do this pretty much every morning and I do it again while I'm multitasking. So when all my skincare is done, I take this and I use it to kind of help uplift and firm my face. Is it a miracle cure? I can't say it is. I've been using it for about two years, but I just enjoy the process. And so many people rave about this. I just really enjoy it. So I use this. Not, I think probably I'd use this maybe five days of the week. I keep it with all my skincare. When I finished and I'm going around getting the kids' clothes out or whatever, I just roll my face, roll my jowls. That's what I really want to work on, kind of tightening up my jawline and preventing too much sagginess they're almost there just a few more products there's one product i wear on my face all year round without fail and that's spf so so important if you're going to take the time effort and money to invest in skincare and look after your skin and you're not wearing an spf is absolutely pointless like i am so so passionate about this i'm sorry if i offend anyone but it's fact you have to protect your skin nine something like 90 percent of aging is caused by uva rays so you might as well just wash your face with a bar of soap and trot on if you're not then going in with an spf i choose to wear ultra sun 
for a few reasons this is a really great product this is the 30 i use this pretty much all year round and if i'm on holiday or i'm going to be sitting in the sun i will also wear a hat because i don't want the sun on my face but i'll use the 50 this is moisturizing anti-aging it's for sensitive skin doesn't block my pores doesn't make me break out sinks in like a moisturizer doesn't leave you oily and greasy doesn't leave a white cast makeup wears and sits on it beautifully and most importantly for me it lasts eight hours a lot of skincare that with spf in it lasts two three hours and then by lunchtime if you've already put your makeup on over your skincare with the spf in it what are you going to do like you're stuck same with any makeup with spf most of the time the spf is going to wear off within a few hours for me it's really important i use a high quality broad spectrum <laughs> some apple spf that also is long long lasting so i take a full large pump of this that's the other thing with moisturizers and foundations with foundations with spf in them for example going off on one I really, really love that it cosmetics your skin, but better full coverage kind of correcting cream. But this has SPF 50 in it. But I need to use so much foundation, so much of this to get that SPF 50 that it's impossible. No one really would wear that much foundation. So just because the SPF number is on the bottle does not mean if you apply a little bit of it, you're getting SPF 50. Obviously, the less product you use the less sun protection you use. So I use a full pump of this. When I first started to use it, I was super scared. I was like, this is so much product, but it's enough for my face, my neck, my ears, and it sinks in wonderfully. I've been using the James Reed Click and Glow and it's really, really nice. I've done a video on this as well, where I tested it out for the first time. I'll link it in the description, but I mix like two or three drops of this in with my SPF. So I'm getting the sun protection, and I'm getting kind of a bit of a colour and a glow as well. I'm like, so clever, such a genius idea. And then I finish off with a lip product. I want to kind of hydrate and moisturise my lips. And I use the Beauty Bio Volumising Lip Serum. It's a really nice, hydrating, comfortable lip product. Um, it's supposed to plump a little bit. I can't say I've noticed that, but I love the way it feels. So there you go. Ooh, I told you it was going to be... A lot of products but there is my morning skincare routine i hope you found this helpful and you've enjoyed it let me know in the comments have you got a holy grail skincare product that you rely on that you love that you've really seen the difference with your skin with i'd love to know and check it out because in my books more is more <laughs> thank you so much for watching if you have enjoyed this don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and to subscribe thank you so much for watching i really appreciate your time have a wonderful day and i'll speak to you really soon